everyone! So I just finished making my showcase video on Shingo, so now there's a brand new unit called Ken... Ken Paki. Ken Paki. Let's go! New unit! I love when new unit comes, bro. And it's update 7.6, by the way, so that's very fun. Alright, we got Star Remnant. Hopefully we'll get him sooner, because for the past rolls, I've been getting units pretty early on like i've only spent 13,000 gems on this brand new update and i've gotten four of the brand new units so i think that's luck bro that's luck all right let's go come on now give me give me kenpaki please hopefully he's gonna be good if he's not gonna be good then i'm gonna laugh bro <laughs> i'm gonna laugh if he's not gonna be good Yo! Oh, that was not it. That was Itodaki, bro. <laughs> Full salam. What the heck? What the heck, bro? Yo, we got Jing, bro. Not, we don't want Jing. <laughs> Yo, we, we want Tenpaki, bro. What? what? Luck boost. Yo, I have three anyway, so it doesn't matter. But why did we get Jing again? Bro, we're getting units that we don't even want, bro. I don't want Yuru. Yo, finally, we got him. We got him after... Oh my god, so much rolls, though. What the freak, man? Kenpaki, I hope you're all worth it with me spending my life on you, bro. Alright, now let's go ahead and fuse him. So we're gonna use our extra Jing to upgrade him, of course. Or, uh, I mean... Level him up. Alright, Pog. Let's see how far can we level him up. Alright, we even got ourselves a Euro, bro. So, I'm so happy. I'm so happy, guys. <laughs> it was unnecessary spent, bro. Like, look at how much legendary this is, bro. And we even got Itadoki, too. What, like, what the heck, bro? I have, like, the most insane luck in the whole entire universe, bro. Alright. There we go, fuse him. Alright, he's level 99! Yo, we're so close to making him level 100. Let's go make him level 100. Level 100. Level 100! Yeah, let's go! Actually, I don't want to use that. I want to use this. <laughs> let's go, level 100, Kenpaki! Well, uh, hopefully you're going to be worth it, bro. Hopefully all of the things I've spent on you was all worth it, or else... I just wasted all of my sources on you, bro. All right, let's go and see what do we need to evolve him. All right, let's go and see Jing. I mean, not Jing. All right, Kenpaki. What do I need? Oh, five teal. Oh, not bad. He is quite easy to evolve. What the heck? All right. Not mad. I don't mind. All right, now let's go and equip that. Then speed card. Go, Buma. Sakura. Then what is he? He's a physical type, so we're going to be bringing Orwin. And Isoko. All right, let's go with the showcase, everyone. Let's go. All right, let me showcase you guys this brand new level 100 Kenpaki unit. Let's go. All right. Oh my god, look at that animation. Whoa, okay. I'm hoping that his damage will be very good when we upgrade him. So far, he is a cone AoE, which I don't really like. I don't like units that have a uh, cone AoE. Because I like units that have straight line AoE or a uh, circle AoE. That's what I like, prefer. So, oh my god, look how, oh my god. Okay, please show some promise that you're gonna be good unit. Truly. Come on now, bro. Let's go. Okay, okay, not bad. Alright, so far he's, uh, he's not that bad at the moment. <laughs> he is a light unit, so that's pretty cool. We don't, we barely have any light units in anime adventure, so. Very cool that they have added one. I think I actually need to place an another one because he's taking too long, bro. His ability cooldown is too short. It's a bit too short. So maybe a good trait would for him would be Godspeed most likely. But we're about to see when we max upgrade him if my assumption is correct. Alright, let me make you last. Nice. Upgrade this. Alright, so far not bad. So far not bad. I don't mind. Hopefully, he's gonna be a good unit when we evolve him. Because if we don't, then I'm just gonna... I'm, I'm screwed, bro. I literally just use every single thing on him, bro. So, I'm expecting a lot. 
I'm expecting quite a lot from you. Um, my guy. <laughs> Tenpaki. <laughs> Alright, let's go. I just posted my showcase on Shingo, which is a brand new limited unit. So, if you guys have not watched that, go check it out right after this video. Thank you, guys. Alright. Let's go, speed card. Gonna upgrade these. Go. Alright. Let me just upgrade up further into our units, our money makers. I wish we had a brand new money makers. I mean, I can't think of any anime characters that revolves around money, but you know. Any money makers out there, like they could just add like a random money maker. Like bro. <laughs> I mean if the viewers won't mind, but yeah. Alright, let's go. Alright, now let's start with the upgrades. Okay, so his base damage is 2341. And 7.5 seconds ability cooldown and 17.7 range as a level 100. No trait. Do keep in mind that. Alright, next upgrade. His brand new damage is now 4,214 with a 7 seconds ability cooldown and 18.2 range. And when we get him to upgrade to his brand new damage is now 6,800... 6,087, bro. Why can I not read? 6,087 with a 7 seconds ability cooldown and 18.2 range. And when we get him to upgrade to his brand new damage is now 6,800... 6,087! 7 seconds ability cooldown and 18.7 range. Bro. Alright, next upgrade. Upgrade 3. His brand new damage is now 7,492 with a 6.5 seconds ability cooldown and 19.2 range. And when we get him to upgrade 4, he will be getting a brand new ability called Savage Assault. And let's take a look at this. Ayo, hey, it's an AoE circle. It's what I want. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Alright. Now his new damage is 10,301 with a 6.5 seconds ability cooldown and 19.7 range. Alright, pretty pog. Next upgrade. His brand new damage will be... 4,000, I mean 14,047 damage with a 6.6, .6, 6 seconds ability cooldown. Man, I'm rough today. And with a 20.3 range, alright. His brand new damage when you upgrade him to upgrade 6 is 18,730 with a 6 seconds ability cooldown and 21.3 range. And on upgrade 7, his brand new damage is now 20,603 with a 6 seconds ability cooldown and 22.3 range. And at upgrade 8. Oh, that's his max. Oh my god, not a lot of damage, I see. Alright, 23,000 damage with a 6 seconds ability cooldown and 23.3 range. Alright. Okay. Oh my god, he's not he's not bad, I think. I'm just coping right now. Alright, now let's go ahead and apply the buff on him. So, of course, he is a physical unit. We're going to be using Orwin. Alright, let's go. Orwin, let's see you. So, 23,412 damage. And when we apply Orwin's buff, it's going to be... The same, but as you guys can see, it shows that little indication of his thing right there. Like, it says 25% increase that. Oh my god, I almost choked on my own saliva, bro. Alright, now let's go. So, as you guys can see, 23,412. And when we apply Sakura's buff, it's gonna be 25,754. Wow, not bad. Alright, now let's go ahead and apply Kisoko's buff now. Alright, let's go and see, bro. Let's see this. Alright, poggers, alright, so 6 seconds ability cooldown and 23.3 range, now it's gonna be 5.4 seconds uh, with ability cooldown with a 27.9 range, oh my god, not bad. This AoE circle is quite small, it's like medium circle, I guess medium size, but like it's quite small, and his range is so bad, like... Compared to the other units, oh my god, bro, it's kind of bad. So I'm hoping a lot from Kenpaki, bro. Hopefully it'll be a good unit when you, once we evolve him. And do let me know down in the comments down below, what do you guys currently think of Kenpaki? Especially, I know he's not evolved yet, but let me know your prediction. Do you think he'll be very good once we evolve him? I would like to know what you guys think about this brand new legendary. I would like to know what you guys think of th about this brand new mythic unit. Hopefully he would be good because I literally just spent every single penny on him. Alright, now let's go and see how much we can spawn. Oh, alright, we can spawn in four. Not bad. Maybe he will be promising once we, you know, evolve him. 40% 40 of that is literally... 
40,000 damage, I think. What the frick? I hope he's gonna be good, bro. Literally 36,000 damage, bro. Hopefully you're gonna be good, Kenpaki. Because if you're not gonna be good, Kenpaki, I just wasted everything on you. <laughs> That's fine, though. All right. We learn and we learn. We live and we learn. You know what I mean, guys? So, yeah. All right. So, if you are playing infinite modes, I do recommend using Bulma. And if you're doing story mode acts, then I recommend doing speed cart. Especially if you're doing challenges, remember to bring speed cart because it is a lot easier as you'll be able to sell speed cart at wave 15. But for Bulma, you can't even sell her, bro. She is unsellable, which is quite sad. And that is all pretty much it for today's showcase on this brand new Kenpaki Mythic Unit on Update 7.6. And yeah, he is level 100. So thank you all so much for watching this showcase. Hopefully you guys did enjoy it. Let me know down in the comments if you did. Colossal smash that like button. Oh, I'm losing my voice, bro. Subscribe, turn on the notification bell to get notified whenever brand new videos out. And I will see you later. Goodbye, everyone. Bye-bye, Pog. Oh, yeah, I didn't show you guys his full animation on full max graphics quality because I'm so used to playing in one bar. So let's take a look at this. Alright, let me just sell these, bro. Yo, look at the animation. It's actually quite sick, though. Like, look at that animation, though. Look at that. Yo. Alright, okay. I will actually see you guys now for real. Goodbye, everyone.